appraisals. What are they, who pays for them, and what do they mean? So now that you're under contract, you're through your inspection period, the bank, the mortgage company, is going to order an appraisal on the property. So this is a third party independent person's assessment on the value of the property to make sure that you as the buyer are not overpaying. So the contract is contingent on the property appraising for the price that you're offering or for more money. So we wanna make sure that a third party independent person is verifying to make sure that you're not getting ripped off and, and the home is worth what you're agreeing to pay for it. So the bank is gonna reach out to what's called an AMC, appraisal management company. The analogy that I like to use is that the appraisal management company has 10 appraisers who work for the company and they spin a wheel and it randomly lands on appraiser number seven and they say, hey, appraiser number seven, can you go out and do an appraisal in the next 48 hours on this property? The appraiser will say yes or no, and if not, they'll find someone else, but it's totally random, totally independent, so it's not like this person works directly for you. They don't work directly for the mortgage company. It's an independent company that uh, is coming out to assess the value of the property to make sure you're getting a fair deal. What they're gonna do is they're gonna look at the comparable sales in the neighborhood in the last three to six months for similar properties to yours. So they're gonna start as close to your property as possible and then expand out if they need. So. If you're buying a four bedroom, two bath house with a pool, but not on the water in a certain neighborhood, that appraiser is gonna look at four bedroom, two bath houses with a pool, not on the water in that neighborhood. They're not gonna use the neighborhood down the street. They're most likely not gonna use a home that does not have a pool or that's on the water unless they absolutely need to. They're trying to find the property that's most like yours so that the comparison is apples to apples. Now, when we were writing our offer, these are most likely the same comps that we use to determine what we thought was the fair market value. So we're gonna be in line. Otherwise, if you're working with us at least, we're not gonna let you agree to overpay for a property way above what we think it would appraise for. So you really shouldn't have too many worries about the appraisal. So that's appraisals. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna get into what happens if a property doesn't appraise. So there could be some potential hiccups depending on the property, and we'll get into that in the next video.